but the main question is will this game run stable on this operating system hello everybody you are on andrew mihalovi channel as i see you like videos about a different operating system fight os chrome os flex etc and today i want to understand for myself what is phoenix os phoenix os is another operating system on which you could run android games so guys today i'm going to install phoenix os on my usb drive why on usb drive because i'm not ready to switch from windows to this random operating system if you watch my videos about operating system you already know before I install new operating system on hard drive, first I install it on USB drive. I want to look at the interface, at the options. I have experience to install different operating system on my USB drive. Most of them work correctly and doesn't have any issues. So guys, I want to give you advice. Before you want to install any operating system, if you have a chance, try to install it on your USB drive probably most operating system have option for this even windows 10 and windows 11 you can install on your usb drive on my channel i have a video about this it's not top secret information that if you install operating system on your usb drive it may work not correctly i have a flash drive of 32 gigabytes of memory and that will be more than enough to install phoenix os at least you need to have 6 GB of memory. Today I'm going to install and run it from my USB drive and look can I run some games and how they work from USB stick. But that's not all, because in the next video I will install it on this SSD drive and then we will see all benefits of this operating system. So let's get it started. For the beginning, we need to open a browser. In my case, it's Google Chrome. Then type next. Phoenix OS download for PC and press enter. Now we need to go on this website. All links will be in the description. From this website we can download Phoenix OS. As you already see this is the latest version of the program. But you can choose manual the version of the program. After that click here free download. After that select start download. Now you need to wait until Phoenix OS will be downloaded on a laptop or computer. After that I will show you the next thing what you need to do to install it on your USB drive. So we already download Phoenix OS installer on our laptop and now we can close this window. But before we run this program I recommend to insert your USB drive into the laptop or computer. I already insert my USB stick into the laptop and now you need to format your USB drive. But please pay attention because you need to do it in the right direction. In this window you need to click here and select this option FAT32 because if you select NTFS and format your USB drive after that you will not be able to install Phoenix OS on your USB stick. So be sure to select this option and click start. All data and all files will be deleted from your USB drive. Click OK. We successfully delete all information from our USB drive. And now we can run the program. Click on it. Phoenix OS can directly run in U-Disk and be installed to hard disk. Recommend to install to hard disk for better performance, which does not affect already installed OS. But as I previously said, we're going to install it on USB drive. And in the next video, we will install it on a hard drive. I will select the second option, make U disk. Click here to select your USB drive. As I previously said, you need to have at least 6 GB of memory. It will be more than enough. If you don't see your flash drive, click on refresh. And after that, 
your USB drive will appear. After that, click here. So now you just need to wait until Phoenix OS will be installed on your USB drive. After that, I will show you the next step what you need to do to run this operating system from your flash drive. Congratulations, Phoenix OS has been successfully installed to you disk. So we already installed Phoenix OS on our USB drive and now we can close this window. But now we need to do one important thing. Safely remove our USB drive. Click here and select our USB drive. If you see this message, that means that you can safely remove your flash drive from the laptop. Now I will restart the laptop and show you how to run Phoenix OS from your USB drive. Now you may see old laptop Dell E5430. This laptop since 2014. And now I will insert my USB drive. After that, I need to turn on laptop and go to the BIOS. In my case, I need to press F2. And voila, we enter the BIOS. Now I need to change priorities to put my USB drive at the first place. Don't be afraid if you have a different BIOS, because probably all BIOS have the same option. In my case, I need to select General, after that, boot sequency. In this case, I see my USB drive. It names USB storage device. I click on it and click up. So USB drive will run at the first place. After that, apply all the changes and click exit. After that, laptop will restart. So we see the Dell logo. After that, we need to wait until it loads. If you don't press any button, it automatically will select one option. And voila, we see Phoenix OS. As I understand, developers of Phoenix OS is from China, but if you click here, we have option to select English. After that, click next, scroll down a little bit and click accept. So now we need to connect to our internet. After we connect to our internet or Wi-Fi, we can click next. Here you may type your username if you wish and click finish. We are in the Phoenix OS. So my first impression, it looks quite similar to Windows and Chrome OS Flex. So to open file or folder that we see on our desktop, we need to do double clicking. And here we also have trash bin. Where is the Google Play Store? If we click here, we also cannot find it. But if we scroll down a little bit, we see Google Play Store. Before I run Google Play Store, let's go to the settings and look at the version of the program. If you want to check specification of your device, click here. In this case, you need to click only one time. Full screen. And here we see Dell E5430 laptop. And here you may see that it runs on Android 7.1.1. Also, I want to go to the browser to check that everything works fine. Because many of my viewers write me that some operating system doesn't have stable version of the browser and it crash when they go to the YouTube. For the example, I will open the browser of Phoenix OS just to look that everything works stable in this case. Click here. OK. Understand. Click OK. And for the example, let's go to the Google. Google.com and press Enter. So we can go to the Google without any problem. YouTube.com. Please update your browser. Remind me later. Um, why I see this message, YouTube. So we are in the YouTube, but I even cannot see thumbnails. Only YouTube shorts. The first impression, it's not good because in Chrome OS Flex, everything works much faster. Processor is good, but optimization of the browser is quite bad. Okay, let's try to open video.
I reached 500 subscribers. Okay, and everything works okay. So we can close this window. Okay, now we will try to run Google Play Store. Click on it. Now we need to sign in our Google account. Click here. In this case, just enter your email. So guys, after you sign to your Google account, click accept. I already signed to my Google account. So let's another time trying to run Google Play Store. Click here, full screen. And for the example, let install Amon S. Install. And now we just need to wait until game will be installed on our laptop. So guys, we already installed Amon S on our laptop. So let's close this window. And if we go to our desktop, we may not see the game. But if we click here, we see Amon S. Click on it. And it's just disappeared. Let's try another time. And we see the next message. Amon S has stopped it. So let's try another time. Open app again. It's simply crash. As you can see, I can't run Amon S on Phoenix OS. Definitely from USB drive. But let's try to install another game. So for the example, let's install Brawl Stars. Okay, we already installed this game. So let's open it from this place. Click open. And it crashed. The second game also cannot run from USB drive. As you can see, I also cannot run this game. And the last time, let's try to install Subway Surfs. If this game cannot be run from our USB stick, it looks quite strange. And we install our last game. So let's close this window, go to our desktop and click here. But the main question is, will this game run stable on this operating system? Because now I only see phrases. Yes, it also crashed. So we can close this up. So guys, in short, I already installed three games from Google Play Store and I cannot run any of them. It looks quite strange. To shut down the power, we need to click here and click on this red button. I want to remind you that in the next video I will install Phoenix OS on my SSD drive. And believe me, the difference between USB stick and SSD drive will be significant. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.